I'm Amy and this is Misty Down Farm. This is Samson. That's Peaches. <laughs> today is Peaches due date and so I'm expecting piglets today, tonight, possibly tomorrow. I am not going to not have piglets in this video. So we're starting today. Hi. And if we end the day with piglets, great. If not, the end of this video will be tomorrow or tonight or whenever it is that we have piglets. So there will be piglets in this video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is I've got a few things I need to do inside. And then I'm going to come out and I'm going to start planting the fall stuff in my garden beds. And I'm going to bring you all along with me while I do that. And then we're just going to hang out and wait for this big mama to go into labor. be planting this kind and this kind. Okay. Alright, so what I do is, like I said, I've already moistened the soil and I put boards down because I plant under the boards to hold the seeds in place because they're so tiny. So first of all, I mark out where my board is going to go and then I'll sow my seeds here and I'll put the board back on top. That way it's gonna hold the seeds in place. They're not gonna wash away or blow away or anything like that. In about 12 days, I'll lift the board and see if I have any sprouting. Once I do start to see several sprouts, then I will remove the board I just kind of sprinkle them along like this. And put my board back down. And that's it. Once these have all sprouted, because I'm just kind of scattering, sowing them, once they sprout, I will come back and then I will thin them out. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing this one. And then some cabbage and I'm gonna do Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna attempt Brussels sprouts. Miley, that big. Miley, Miley, come here. This is my father-in-law's dog. Miley, Miley. There she is. That's Miley. All right, so this bed here gets more shade than the rest, so. You can see those beds back there, they don't get any shade. But this one does get some on this side. So I'm gonna be planting my spinach here on this side. Because the spinach can handle less sun. It needs a minimum of three to 10 hours a day. 
and it gets morning sun and afternoon sun or evening sun but doesn't get middle of the day sun but that'll be fine for spinach also y'all keep in mind that I am in Florida so I know it's October I know some of y'all are thinking you know um, what are you doing planting stuff in mid-October but this is Florida so we really don't have too much of a cold season Finished planting everything I was going to plant. I also stuck some seeds in the ground for Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower. Typically, those are some things that you would transplant out. You would start the seeds early and transplant out, or if you drug sowed, you'd do it sooner than this. So, I don't know how those are going to go. I actually haven't grown those before, so I just took the seeds in the ground and we're going to see what happens. Um, but because I'm over here by the chickens that sometimes get out and the cats that use my boxes as um, litter boxes when there's when they look like a big litter box they're gonna use it as one so my husband built me these out of boards and chicken wire and so when I plant my stuff in it I put them over the top and that deters animals it keeps them out so that my seeds can get started and once they get bigger and actually, they're probably a good, they're probably like this high up off the bottom. So my seeds, my little seedlings can get a pretty good start before I take this off. And they'll be to the point where I can mulch them, which will keep the cats from wanting to use in there. And by the time I get them up and bigger, hopefully the smaller chickens that I have that keep getting through the fence will be bigger and won't be able to get out. So, that's that. Still waiting on this one. Peaches. Can you have those babies now? Can you? In the daylight would be nice. I'd appreciate it. And Brian is in here. Tell the people what you're doing. I am rewiring the lights in the barn. Peaches, be quiet a minute. He's rewiring some lights in this barn. How long has this barn been here? Uh, probably close to 30 years. What was it before? I have two older siblings who did cows for FFA. And so there were two cow pens that have now been converted into chicken pig, goat, everything thing. So he is, this is my chicken coop in here. He's cut a hole in the top so he could get to the lights. But the wire runs through and I haven't had any lights out here except for something with an extension cord. So he's rewiring the lights. There's gonna be one there and then there's gonna be one. Is there only gonna be two? One here and then one over the milking area. Yeah.
Okay, y'all. As you may know, my little hen, my little broody hen, Pickles, has been trying to set eggs for a very long time. And she just, her broodiness just wouldn't break. So, I decided, you know what? I was just gonna let it happen. So, I put her in this cage. Sorry, the mess and everything they're still working on, wiring and stuff. I put her in this cage with a little nest. I gave her some Polish eggs. I have a white crested blue Polish rooster and the hens in there, I've got three hens that are all Polish and then one that is a turkin. So just a minute, baby. So I put in a couple of the Polish eggs. I put one of the turkin eggs and then I just grabbed a random brown egg. So I don't know what that's gonna be, but yes, she is in here and we're gonna let her set some babies because why not, you know? y'all I finished feeding up and it's seven o'clock in the evening and still no piglets so she's just laying in there chilling I don't know y'all it's gonna be in the middle of the night as soon as I start y'all there they go Okay, we are here. The next morning, still no babies. Still no babies. That's night two. Night two of not very much sleep because I keep setting alarms and getting up to check this one. Peaches, peaches, it's time to let the babies go. It's time. All right, y'all. So we're watching. We're waiting. It has to be today. It has to be today. She's never gone late before. She was due yesterday. It's time. It's time. Give us babies. Give us babies. That's not how it works, unfortunately. Hello, Samson. Come here. Samson says hello again. Hi. Okay. Another day of baby watch. Here we go. Watch out. Watch out. It's opening. Watch out. Go ahead. You wanted to go in there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Or not, that's fine too. That's fine too.
Okay, here we are. Again, another day. <sighs> Y'all, pigs are a few days late. Not normal. It's now probably going to be the coldest day of the month. It's windy. It's cold. I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me. But she has milk. And that typically means she'll go within 6 to 12 hours. So that should be, it's morning now, so it should be during the day today. Fingers crossed. Praying that's so. And okay. Typically, this would be the day that I would be uploading a video, preparing it to come out tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. I don't know if y'all are going to get a Tuesday video or not, because I told you, it's windy and cold, I told you there would be a pig birth on this video. So if that means this video is a day late, that's okay. <laughs> Whatever it takes, there's going to be piglets on this video. So, peaches, sooner than later, please. Sooner than later. I can't wait. <laughs> Peaches is done with seven babies. She had four boys and three girls. She is still laying down and resting. She'll be fine. She's just recovering and I've got the babies in a basket. I was able to put them on her, sort of. There's not a lot of space, but they were able to get something to eat. And now they're going to be in here while she recovers for a few minutes. They are so cute, y'all. Can't hardly stand it. Are you going to give me one? Like, Abby's going to show you. <laughs> That's a little girl. Let me see. Let me see the three girls. Where's the dark ginger girl? Y'all, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at the little baby. Look at the little baby. Look, can't hardly stand it. Oh my word. Look at the runt. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's the little runt. He's a little boy. And then we have this little girl. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Is that the one I showed already? No, I showed y'all the other one. Oh my goodness. They're so precious. They're so precious. They look like she's smiling. <laughs> Two are fighting over the same one. Come here, baby. Come here. Ouch. <laughs> They've got some sharp little teeth. The kids were all able to be out here, and my friend Miriam from the Chicken Daddy Farm came. She only missed the first one, and she was here for the rest of the six. And he just did so good. She is so great, y'all. She does so great. All right, y'all. So what I'm going to do is because I had two days worth of vlog stuff videoed, I am only putting a small portion of what I videoed for her birth in this video. 
and then I'm going to do another video that is just Kuni Kuni birth. That's it. And it's going to be either later today or tomorrow. It's going to be like a bonus video. <laughs> and that will come out later today or tomorrow. And it will be just her birthing video. So, so in the birthing video that I'm going to post later, you're going to see a few of the same clips that I have shown today, but there is a lot more I'll show like all the pigless birth and I mean, it's going to, what? Okay. Just a minute. It's going to be, um, actually showing the live birth of the piglets, not, not just what you saw today, but more. There's this plus a whole lot more because I could not fit all of this onto this one video. So that's going to be its own separate video. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me. Till next time, keep on the sunny side.